Speaking of the highways in our state, a National Highway Research Agency recently releasing a report and it doesn't have good things to say about Connecticut's highways. News 8's Bob Wilson joins us live from Hartford to explain. Hey, Bob. Well, hi, Brian. You know what? Connecticut is ranked third, third last when it comes to cars per mile on Connecticut highways. And this is what we're talking about here. Take a look over at Interstate 91. You can see the front lane moving pretty good. The back lane kind of a little bit slowish. And here we are on a Saturday afternoon. A lot of people might not be surprised to hear Connecticut is ranked so poorly. Governor Malloy tried to put away $100 billion over the next 30 years to try and improve the infrastructure. But with the condition of the state's budget, that didn't go through. But here's how Connecticut ranks according to the TRIP agency, the, uh, the TRIP report. It's a National Highway Research Agency, third most vehicles per mile, fifth worst in bridge conditions, and 10th most congested. This is nationwide. Think about that. California, New York, we're ranked third, fifth, and 10th. And we caught up with a UPS truck driver who says, you know what, you don't need to tell him how bad the highways are. A lot of traffic, and then if there was an accident, you didn't know how long it was going to tie you up for. So it wasn't any fun, but... Um, I'm glad I'm retired now, so I don't have to worry about it. That's part about hearing that report. He's been retired a couple of years now. Interestingly enough, Connecticut is making some progress. The Q Bridge opening up uh, a little bit here, a little bit there, getting more uh, highway traffic across that bridge. So they are going in the right direction. Just they have a long way to go. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live along 91 Interstate 84 News 8.